Hey guys, Jessie here from Urban Legends Antiques and this week I'm doing a little something different. I am donating two planter chairs to a local business in Temecula called Pretty Paints Party. They have been mobile and they are now opening up their very first brick and mortar store. So I thought this was a great opportunity to kind of say welcome to the neighborhood. Let's get started. I found these two chairs on the side of the road and I thought they would be perfect for planter chairs. So I'm using these nippers to cut off what I thought was like really cool wood or rolled cane or something. This is actually um, rolled up cardboard that they glued. So I was really surprised when I found this out, but very cool. So while I was talking to the owners of Pretty Paints Party and getting to know them, I found out that half of their proceeds are donated to the Autism and the Arts Initiative in Temecula, California. And I love that as soon as I found out, I said, I'm donating something and this is what it is, <laughs> these chairs. <laughs> Don't uh, count out these chairs though, because I think they're gonna be beautiful. My plan is to paint them orange and white to match the colors of the logo of Pretty Paints Party. Cutting off all of the um, seat of these chairs was hard work and it felt really, really good to do this last bit right here. Ah. So I don't know what to do with this, but I decided I was going to save it. That's a lot of material for something. And in the end, I'm really, really glad that I did save it. So stay tuned because you'll see why. Now I'm just sanding the chairs down to prep them for paint. And there's something that was coming off. It was like some kind of fabric that was glued to the top of the chair. And it was like coming off in these weird little flakes. It was fibery and yucky. So I'm really glad that I sanded the chairs. Just a quick clean up and wipe down before we start to paint. I chose Chalky Chicks color Acorn for this project. It's a warm, vibrant orange, and it reminds me of um, like some of the oranges that you see in a California sunset. It's really, really pretty. Okay, this brush is really good to paint spindles on chairs, which is why I'm using it. And as always, you gotta spray that brush with some water first to get it ready to paint. Here we go. I was really glad that the warm tones of the wood matched the warm tones of the orange. It made it blend really, really well. Here's where this brush shines. Look at the coverage it's getting on those spindles. And we are all done. Using my go-to clear coat, and this time we're gonna spray it. So here's my great idea. I'm going to use hardware cloth and I'm going to put it into the base of the chair for the planter and make a really stable base for the um, flowers and the soil to go into. I will say that I did not watch any videos on YouTube on how to make a planter chair. I just made it up on my own and um, this was not the best way to do it. So lesson learned. There was a lot more cutting involved using the nippers and cutting the hardware cloth this way than what I had originally thought. Um, this isn't going according to plan. I had really great ideas for this and it's not working. This, this is from the chair. This is the seat. So I'm going to see if maybe I can staple this in instead. We're going to try. As always, I have my gun on safety. There's no kids here right now, but I, mean, I don't want to staple myself either. So the videos that I watched online said that you take the, the fabric screen that you would put into a window and you staple that onto your chair and then you put cocoa mat on top and it makes like a nice, kind of like a basket for your soil. So obviously I did not do that. I had been to the hardware store twice this day and I didn't want to go again. So I thought I would use the leftover material from the seat of the chair and staple it back onto the seat and kind of make a basket by weaving the pieces together. The last time I wove something, I think I was in Girl Scouts in third grade. So I'm calling this rustic, um, but you know, it's working. So we're going for it. So yes, this was a lot of work, um, but remember, I'm donating both of these chairs to Pretty Paints Party and half of their proceeds goes to support Autism and the Arts Initiative in Southern California. So for me, this is 100% worth it. I am very passionate about autism acceptance and I wanted to do something special for them so they can either sell these chairs and use the money for their business or they can keep them as decoration and use them to decorate their property. 
Would I recommend doing the weaving technique again? No, no, I wouldn't. It was hard. I would say do what everybody else does and get the screen, put the screen down, put the cocoa mat on top. This was hard. Time to wax these babies. So yes, I did put clear coat down, but I'm putting wax on as well, just as adder protection since they're probably gonna be outside. Next step is white wax. I'm adding white wax on top as well. I don't normally do a lot of things with white wax, but it matches their logo, so I thought it would be a cool look, especially with the orange. You don't see that a lot. Here we go, cocoa mat, done. They didn't have the right size cocoa mat, so we got one that we had to cut. Um, I started with scissors, that didn't really work, so back to the nippers I went. I just cut the cocoa mat in half, and then we used one half of the cocoa mat on both chairs. All I did was separate the layers of cocoa mat and then I used the Spanish moss and I thought I would put that around the edge since I didn't have a very big like hole to put the soil into. I figured we would put the Spanish moss around and kind of build up the soil onto the seat of the chair. So I got the Spanish moss from the 99 cent store and I bought six little packages of it and I used three on each chair. I'm actually really starting to like the way it looks. It's super different from any other planner chair I've seen. It looks like a nest. Um, I love it. So now you can see by adding the moss in what was originally like maybe um, three inches for me to put soil in is now built up it's like six to eight inches and I can fill that up with the soil and then plant my flowers and the moss will cover up the kind of like mound of dirt I chose marigolds for the planter chair and they were all root bound so they were kind of hard to get out of that little container that they come in but I did it now I'm just getting them all planted, making sure that there's enough soil that they can stand up correctly. They're so cute. Now that I got them planted, we're just adding more soil in around the flowers just to like fill it in and give them a little bit of extra support. And last but not least, some extra moss. I just thought it was like really cute like that. It looks like a little birdie nest. Now that they're all done, I couldn't resist doing a couple of glamour shots and I just, I think they're gorgeous. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Urban Legends Antiques. I also have a website for items available for shipping, www.urbanlegendsantiques.com. All right, you guys, I've dropped these off at their storefront so that way they can use them somewhere on their property. Um, I'm gonna drop a link to their Instagram page in the description box so you guys can check them out and see all the good work that they're doing in the community. Welcome to the neighborhood, Pretty Paints Party. I hope you know that you have a lot of people that love and support what you do.